My name is Peter Pang, I'm with NVIDIA, I'm Holodex Product Manager, and what I'd like to do is run you through the workflow that we have at SolidWorks World where we're showing Holodeck and integration with SolidWorks Visualize. So the process here is we have a model of the CFH telescope and the model was built partially in SolidWorks and other components where it's all assembled in SolidWorks. From SolidWorks the model then was um, brought into SolidWorks Visualize this application allows you to apply materials, do renderings, and then from here, Holodeck has a plugin which is a direct export from SolidWorks Visualize directly into Holodeck. And what Holodeck is, is NVIDIA's um, VR platform. And this platform is where NVIDIA actually tests its technology for autonomous uh, cars, also for AI. And so in here, we're using Holodeck as the virtual design review environment where you can visualize prototyping from whether it's a product widget, an assembly, a vehicle as large as a, a refinery or a plant, and in this case it's the telescope model. So what we did was, in step one, was bring in our telescope model onto what we call our hollow table. And often in architecture you'll bring in a model uh, in, in what is called a dollhouse mode or a model in white. This is a scale down model. You can bring it on a small table. You can gather your avatars which represent different holodeck users that might be located in different parts of the world. So the benefit here is you're having an immediate meeting, uh, could be impromptu, and no travel involved. You're coming together. Uh, all of you can discuss and point out details on your model in scale. Um, you can actually poke your head in closer, get really tied in on the model, and then we're gonna go to full size. And in here, we go from scale to full size where you can then move around the entire space. Here we are now in holodeck and this is our um, room we call holotable and I'll just give you a quick tour of the room. It's basically an open space with the holotable in the center of it and the purpose for this room is to bring in your models at scale so you can see them and gather your other avatars around and um, in this case I'm going to load in our model And this model was converted directly from SOLIDWORKS Visualize. And what we can do is bring in the model. We have a few qu quick features I'll run through. Uh, what I'll do is I'll change some of the materials. So uh, basically I'm going to select one of our materials and we have saved a save palette. And once we apply the materials here, I can just copy it and paste it and I'll just attach it to a couple of the other surfaces. One of the big things I want to just jump right into right immediately is that we have some tools to help with evaluating the model. In this case, we have a particular tool called uh, a clipping tool, or a clipping plane, actually. And this lets me cut through the model. Um, we can go back and rotate it. I'm going to cut it over to the, bring it over to the side. And if I bring it to the front again, we're going to change some of the sun position. So as you can see here, we can get dynamic lighting. And then we're going to go into a different tool here, which lets me actually cut through the model in a couple different ways. This is our clipping sphere, which actually moves a large sphere through the model. But I also can limit it in a more controlled manner where I have uh, cutting through the model in a specific plane. And one of my favorites actually is this one. And by scaling up our model, I can actually cut through and see the different layers of the model. And also I'm going to turn the model a little bit. And then make this a little bit bigger. And then this is one of the benefits too that you cannot do if you have a foam core model. Actually you can go into this model and go in much tighter. So I'm going to back out a little bit, okay, and I can come over here and go back over to the front, and now we're going to go into the model life size. So here we are now at full size outside the model. Um, what I've done is I've brought in uh, a saved file that saves additional materials that I was able to assign inside of Holodeck. 
the materials from SOLIDWORKS Visualize imported into Holodeck. I made a few changes with our vMaterial library inside of Holodeck and now we're going to go into the model. We have a list of saved views that I've created earlier. And the benefit of having saved views is when you have multiple users in Holodeck, um, collaboration is one of our strengths as well, where we can bring in multiple avatars, multiple participants, and then this icon here allows you to gather them. So you can control your presentation, bring your group around as um, uh, all of you maintain a singular point of view. Uh, I'm gonna jump around to a couple different views. Um, first, let me give you a general view of this new model. And then we'll jump to a few other views. This is our front entrance as we were at. I can manually teleport quickly over to different views inside our room. And that's a quick tour of the new CFH telescope in Holodeck.